the next thing we're going to do is open up Logic. Logic is Apple's pro audio recording program. It's an excellent program for doing voiceover. It's available from the App Store if you want to get it on your own computer. And we have it down on the dock over here. Now once it opens, we're going to see this template window. And we've created a voiceover template under the My Templates area on the left hand side. And select that voiceover template. And make sure that these settings down in this lower area are as they are right now. We want to make sure that Use Musical Grid is not checked. Audio Input and Audio Output are both Universal Audio Apollo. And Sample Rate should be 48 kilohertz. The bottom two settings you can leave as they are. That's not going to be relevant for what we are doing with a voiceover. Now press Choose, which is blinking and just asking you to click it. And you are going to see that Logic now opens up with one track, which is where you can record your voice. The first thing that we want to do here is save the project. Now, nothing that you do on this iMac is going to necessarily be there when you come back. So if you are working on the iMac right now, make sure that you have a USB stick or a hard drive that you can transfer it to or uh, upload it to Dropbox or something like that. Or if you have a USB or a hard drive, you can work right off of that when you're in the audio lab. So I'm going to go up to File and Save. I'll pick my location of where I'm going to save this. And I'm going to call this project Voice Over Video. I want to organize my project as a folder. And Ap Apple is going to create a folder for this entire project. So I don't need to actually create a new folder for it. I'm just going to press Save. And we'll see now it says Voice Over Video at the top. We know that it's been saved. The reason this is important is that, first of all, you don't want to lose your work. You don't need that heartbreak. The other reason is that as you start recording, Logic gives a file name to each of your recordings. And it's based on the name of the project you're working on. So instead of having a bunch of files that are all called untitled, you can make sure that they're all titled properly by saving your project very early on in your process. And of course, as we go through, we're going to save obsessively.